Hey everyone, welcome to Zestaria. Tells us Zestaria. Woo! The newest of the Tells of series. Let me just quickly go through this. Uh, where is that? That needs to go down. Because that's going to kill my ears after a while. Dang that down a little. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, so. Uh, for those of you who have actually looked around on my channel, you'll notice there is Tells of Symphonia. This is a. The newest of the tale series, which kind of goes back to how it doesn't money was. They deviated a little. I have the played The legend it. of the shepherds. In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, Eventually, they faded into legend. Now, once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. People began to speak of the shepherds from this world. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm not going to talk during the cinemas, obviously. But, uh... First off, no face cam for a couple of reasons. One, I'm just too lazy and don't want to sit up. Two, I don't feel like getting presentable. <laughs> Mostly just laziness in this case. But also, this is a really pretty game. And needs most of the screen. I could probably put it in the top right and it'd be okay. But, oh well. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna talk during the cinemas, when they have voices. Um, as for the lag between volume, or the audio and the subtitles, I don't know what's up with that. This game is not running bad on my computer. Hmm. Well, not always. Man, my recording doesn't convey how pretty this game is. It kind of dulls the colors, it looks like. But this game is very pretty. I love it. That's something about the Tales series. It's always just so pretty. Alright, so give me one second. I want to go see if I can... Okay, so I don't want to change much. Here. Uh, let's get out of the game. Do it. Alright, so... Uh, one second. Uh, I did get this as pre-ordered, and thus I have DLC items. And these DLC items are lovely! Alright, so... Wow. I am literally the only... A lot of people don't get them. Yeah. So... Ugh. So what these are, are they're... I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock them all, but I'm also reading them. But... These are just costumes for people. So... <laughs> so 
so he is a playable character. Hmm. Interesting. And tells of weapons. Oh. You don't actually get them, they're just... That's funny. Alright, so to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I like this one still more. But I do like him wearing this. It's nice. So I'm gonna go dress him up and be back. Handle that. Um, so let me quickly just go through this. Shut up, I know what I'm doing. I care about that one. Equipment, this is what I care about. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we probably should be going through this, but it's basically just telling you how it works. You can have it where these symbols are straight up, all five of these, two in a row, two on one, one in a row, that's all it is. It's very small. And it took me all the way on that, too. That's good. I won't mind that. Alright. There he is. <laughs> I mean, standing still it looks amazing. When he starts moving, it's kind of silly. Because it's put on bounding boxes. Alright, within a bounding box. Anyway. Uh, Alright, let's go up here. Alright, so like I said, this is the newest Tells game. And I'm going to be playing it for quite a while. Also, we'll change his outfit and such up every so often. Because this is going to be a long let's play. And I also will be playing it in my spare time, but eh, it's not going to change much. Come on. All right, nice little book that we saw in the opening. And also, I won't be talking that much because these guys talk a lot. That's a really big sword. I knew it. A hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. Or King Arthur. You guys will understand that later. <laughs> well, that's not a trap in any way. <laughs> About time I found it. Nothing on my end, Soray. Niklia! Looks like you beat me this time. First number two! <laughs> <laughs> this proves the Shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard. I knew it! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. <sighs> yeah, there's some weirdness with the, uh... Lacking of talking. So yeah, just look at that view. They force you to look at how pretty this game is. <laughs> and it's pretty eyes. Some pretty tiny nose. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that? I think our ruin adventure is over for today. All right, time to run. Still so pretty. Even just looking at that. Yeah, the colorations have a little off, but... Come on! Oh, jamming. Jays. Below. Hey, there's like a quicker thing below. Huh. Didn't notice that before. Yeah. 
That was too close. Could I get a little help, please? No. <laughs> As if you guys didn't see that coming. <laughs> anyway, e, this game is a little slow to pick up. <laughs> It provides some interesting commentary, I suppose. They gonna die. Surging currents! Twin flow! <laughs> I I'm pretty sure he's still, like, broken leg. At that point. Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh, good thing we fell down here. Again, forcing you to see, look how pretty this game is. <laughs> right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Alright, now I can talk. Because there are some times when you cannot talk. Uh, yep, I do. Be a part of the party? Sweet. Alright, so make Leo your first friend. I'm not gonna add any attachments to him at the moment. Uh, I don't know what the other one looks like. Yeah, look at that one. And that one just looks horrible. <laughs> I may put that on later. Don't know what I did. Alright, so... The dressing up thing I keep doing, that is actually a thing that has been in Tales for quite a bit, actually. I think it's starting in Graces. So like I said, you can see I've been playing. <laughs> anyway, but, um... Ugh, yawning. I think I just woke up. It's great. I can't stop yawning. It's great. Um... Yeah, this is quite a lot of what people loved in the older games, like uh, the dress-up feature, the combat's different. Whoa! But... Oh man, what a drop! It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... it's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. 
confused yet. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so now this is the actual dungeon tutorial. Uh, looks safe point. Alright, oh, only way to go is this way. But yeah, as you can see, there's a map in the top left, so I can put my thing there. I know what I'm doing. Just tell me to do this. Yeah, my sword's all sticky. And I am playing this on cobwebs the... everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. I'm playing this on the PC, so. But I refuse to play it with the keyboard and mouse because it's tails. That's just weird. Here and why? Oh no, I didn't break it. I wonder why. Turn it. What's wrong? Shh. Okay, that's a little better than last time, but. <laughs> Those are some pretty green eyes. There! Oh, it's huge! What is this thing? It's a speed. Quit gawking and get your sword ready. All right, so in combat. All right, this is the first time to see combat. Yes, I can do it. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh. What? Strike! Strike. There, I can use Be my. Gone. Other arch Strike! Oh, that's because I haven't set them. Whoops. I don't have any. It's over! Try this! Take that! That would explain it. Speeder day. Wait, hold on. It can't be a hellion? Maybe. A hellion? For real? Destroy I've never you. seen one in person before. Let's draw your big katana. You'll be fine. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? Whatever it wants. It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Not at all. Huh? Now we can see Gramps! Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can! Remember, you two, common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends! Cut it! Not at all. <laughs> we can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. You can kick its ass, though. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl. Before something worse finds her. Shush. Guess I got no money out of that. 
Is that anyone? Could we... That's about to be explained. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Alright, so I wanna... So, what that does is, when I'm like on top of these things, you'll have me there, there. It'll raise it. So, let's see what's going on. Do I have a five step? What was that I was going to do? I don't care about that. Go away. Oh. Is that a monolith? This is Saray's ability. And if you guys actually want to read those, you can, but... Wait, that's... Not really that important. Ready, Some more Hellions. Ready? Ah! It's Try over! This. Oh, I have. Ready? No escape! It's over! Nice thing is, you can... Be gone! Come here. Ready? You can't no escape! Me. It's over! Man, crying, man. Uh, just... That's the way! Ready? Uh, yeah. Whoa. Ready? Strike! Ooh. It's it. over! Okay, so you guys are gonna start noticing. Or maybe we managed notice. to escape for now. A uh Change something. Let's start up in a way. Anyway, you guys may have noticed the. I can't remember what I was about to say now. I do with combat. I'll probably remember here in a bit. Uh, eh. Yeah, and this is the fastest I can make the character move. But I will be exploring pretty much everywhere because it gives you typically useless items, but you never know. They could end up being useful. Like this one. Saray, look around you. Saray, I'm ready. Be gone! No escape! How's oh, this? Now I can remember. Whoa! Yeah, I know how to play the game. Here. Be gone! Anyway, now I remember. You see that larger number? I've only seen two numbers, like 38 once in there. And then. Let's get him! Go! Go That's stand. not. I'm doing 38. How's this? Uh, All right. That's total damage I've done in this combo. And Be gone. damage I've dealt. Or damage I've dealt, which is the lower number, and then the so, kill my FSC. Ready? Uh, you went here! The, uh, right yes. the, uh, the bigger number is how much damage you've done during the combat. You okay, Mikleo? How much damage you've done that attack. That's what I was trying to say. I am going to treat this more of a walkthrough one. Simply because this game is. Rather I can sense the ancient tongue. Week old We're near one now, but it's because I wasn't able to uh, actually get around to recording it until today. Ready, Big Leo? Yeah. I wasn't able Be to gone. get around to recording <laughs> no until escape. today. Ah. How's this? What? Yeah. Be gone. Come on. It's over. What? Ready? No escape! How's this? Hit them both! Yeah, they're gonna kill them at the end, so I can attack. Water! It's over! Hang on, everyone! That last attack in that combo is Try this. Be gone. actually a tracking, even if you're on manual. Just managed to fend them off. Which is hilarious. 
Oh, and then I remembered something else I need to show you. So, he currently has uh, ancient earrings. But if I pull up the other ancient earrings, these are different and much better. Ooh, we got an E unison. I don't, don't want to lock you. I think that's what that is. Oh, let me go look. Yeah, uh, the fire. He's out of these two. That's what I was talking about. Or it was talking about. Hmm. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. I guess I just pulled up. Anyway, um, whenever you have two in a row like this, or you have two, or I guess, I guess you have to have all five for this way. I don't know actually. I haven't gotten that yet. But the more you have in a row this way, the better. The stat if you stack, like I have, mend like five times. It's better you get some a bonus skill it's pretty simple but mm. oh and also when I said these in a row I'm, that goes down all these rows I just stole that one I gotta go change them because I just made it locked I didn't mean to alright um, I want to see something first I'm gonna purify this Save point despite not having the power of purification. That human probably got caught up in all the lightning just like we did. More like the other way around. We have her to thank for all that crash boom bang. That lightning. That was Gramps, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a warning to invaders. Not one more step. <sighs> Sorry, Gramps. I can't just leave someone who needs help. Huh. This is turning into an eventful day for once. For one... That was a cool monolith! We've had quite a bounty of discoveries today. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, that stone is a lot newer than the surrounding ruins. Yeah, it's from a completely different age. It read like advice of some sort. Most likely, it's a guidepost left by previous visitors to aid fellow travelers. So we're not the only ones who go around investigating ruins. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> Humans have terms for them. Things like adventurer or explorer. Or archaeologist. Huh. Explorers. Anymore? Nope. I don't know what to say. Now, I want to see something. Okay. <laughs> thought maybe I'd get a uh, little thing for... Yep. Alright, time to continue. Now, the only thing different about this game that might not be an awesome thing is the fact that I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I was trying to I don't know. I don't think I am. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Yep, because there's a speeder in here. Serene, I'm ready. Ha! Talking about. Ha! Be gone! Strike! 
Alright! Ah. Anyway. Whoa, they have these speeders. I pray we do not encounter a stronger foe. I hope we encounter a stronger foe. Alright. So equipment proficiency. I need to read this. You can increase your proficiency and equip it all in. What does it do? Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm not good. But you didn't do it yet? No. You did, though. You learned. Well, it was Mystic Art. Oh, anyway, speaking of Mystic Art, I want to show you guys something. Mystic Art. In order to use it, it takes no SC, which is amazing. But to activate, you have to hold R, T, and B when in normal state during a 50 hit or higher combo with Blast Gauge 4 or higher. What? That's. Insane. There might be something nearby. Yay. Ancient Circulate. Alright, make Leo, let's compare it. It's better. Yeah, each character can only wear certain things, like. Saray can only wear earrings. Make Leo can wear circlets. Some of the characters do share items, but I don't remember which ones. And more trade. And make the didn't say anything. What's this? Because it's a quo. What the? I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. Make Leo has a point. Water I'll give it back lion. once we return safely. Pretty sure that's what that translate, translates to. Water lion. Uh, <laughs> Maybe ice lion. I don't know. I do not if you say so. whatever the language's name is. I was talking over it. But it was kind of, you know, irrelevant. <laughs> it actually was. This aroma. Now it's lavender. What do you do? Increase the damage placed by Marshall. Yeah, that definitely needs to go. Sorry. Sorry is more of a melee character. But uh, I'm crazy. So close, but it's, it's still so far. Mystic Art. Think thing. we could jump? Only one way to find out. Yeah, my photo. Uh, the reason I have... What am I saying? <laughs> the... You could totally make that. Well? <laughs> okay, maybe not. You could totally make that. What are you talking about? That's an easy job. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look at that big old beastie over there. That's terrifying. Uh, well, we definitely can't make it from here. Uh, there should be a connecting point somewhere. Uh, Let's go back and see what we can find. Guess I need to go over here so I can, uh, you know, trigger something a little. Some, some. Huh. I don't remember if I. You don't suppose. That lavender before. Me. Oh. Huh? There. Take a look. Uh, hmm? Go on. Look closer. Come on. We don't have time for this. Let's cut the fun and games, all right? Then let me explain. As you see... Ugh, forget it. Let's just go back down there. 
<laughs> you never could handle losing. Nerp. Anyway. Uh, what do I say? Sorry? He's very much a melee character. If you can tell by the fact that he has a sword and a so another sword and he had another sword. He's very much a melee character. While Miklio, whose attachments will come later, uh, he is a mage, pretty much. Actually, there's not pretty much about it. Though they did get rid of one thing. They did get rid of the uh, TP slash MP slash all that. Just made it action points. Whoop. Oh, yeah, that's good. I that see. Good. So that's the deal. <laughs> I want to see what happens when I say this. I know the other one. There's a uh, staircase coming up from below. <laughs> no. You're totally lost, aren't you? No, that what I just. Hmm? I could have sworn. I mean, isn't there? Hmm. I want this. Not dialogue. even close. Look. An invisible bridge. That's better. Oh, we didn't get that. Seems safe enough. Yeah. The invisible bridge. The invisible. Bridge. This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? <clears throat> Possibly. But either way... <clears throat> they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me, or someone else. Mm -hmm. Why did he say Seraphim they like They really didn't me? want anyone to reach the other side. But not The Seraphim. path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the pure land. But why not serve him like us? Does he keep talking as if... In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. <laughs> Same as we did until just minutes ago. That would be slippery with Let's play with it. That's there are a lot of cutscenes in this game. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey. Uh, are you all right? Uh. <sighs> Look at those pretty green eyes. <sighs> I was... I was in a forest, and then... Looking for this?
Yep, she's human, all right. Yeah, I never do that, not do. <sighs> yeah. Ow. Besides. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? An epic ninja rogue, that's still all your money. Your name? Uh, oh! Right! My name! I'm Saray. Saray? Yep, nice to meet you. So, Ray, what's up? Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? <laughs> So, Ray, are you nuts? No. Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. Gramps is going to let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. So where's McLeo in the scene? Anyway, that's the way out. Let's get moving. Is it... Is it actually sorry? Alright, so, like I said, I'm going to do lots of exploring, checking every nook and cranny for every nook and cranny. Where the heck does this lead? Where are we going? That's what I want now. I want now. Nah, I have to point. I don't know why I'm supposed to be going. Huh. So we're coming back here later. Interesting. I wonder how much later that is. Hmm. Anyway. Uh. I'm not sure what I'm talking about with this game. Yeah, she's not part of the party yet. Also, I do love that. I can click on this and see how long I've been playing. I think it's how much time it's been since my last save. She does it there, and I can't just save point. I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Yeah. Okay. 
Ah, uh, too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. You almost expect him to say what's skeptical, what's a skeptical bone. Exit. Siege your lift. That symbol to keep popping up. Probably important. Ah, we made it back in one piece. Yeah, we just had to walk up a staircase. Wow, it's beautiful. Yes, this game is. <laughs> Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? There you go. There's... A quote from the Celestial Record? That's why she can't see Miklio or hear him. Bingo! You've read it too? Yep! Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. Alright, time for some more fun. So, uh, is the Celestial Record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, looks like someone's enjoying himself. Gushing. Well, what are those creatures? What do you mean, creatures? They're goats. What are these giant goats? Goats? Are they usually this big? Such robust horns. Just like the dragons of legend. Mmm, not robust <laughs> enough for dragons. What, like in fairy tales? You're something else. Don't go near it! There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. Ah, don't worry. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. Your... friends? Yep. Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. This is my village, Alicia. Well. So it's not Camlon, but Alicia then. Then the rumors were false after all. What the hell is she talking about? You're right, this isn't Camelot. What about this looks like Camelot? To you. 
<laughs> All those people you can't see. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. Hey, everyone! Got someone to introduce to you. My legs. <laughs> Those eyes. They so pretty. This is my family living here at the shrine. kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> I sure hope Miklio's chat with Gramps went over well. Oh. Alright. So let's start talking. Let's do what they say. Let's do this guy. 